What's up my little army? Welcome to the studio and behind me we have the new LL Le Duc Letoué neon sign. It's fucking sexy. Today I'm doing something that I've never done before ever on the channel and a lot of you guys have been asking for it. I'm gonna narrate one of my fights and the team and I have decided to do my first Letoué fight in Japan. In 2017 I fought at the Curriculum Hall. If you don't know this, uh, this venue, it's a legendary venue. It's been MMA, K1, wrestling and now we made history with Letoué. I always used to play Street Fighter when I was younger and you used to go to Japan and fight, you know, so it was a uh, it was insane to actually be in Japan, in Tokyo, look around and just fight in Letoué. So I fought Poké, a Letoué warrior. He kept coming back up, it was, it was insane. And uh, the guy probably has the heart of 300 Spartans, like the entire army, because he just didn't, didn't want to quit. So uh, yeah, let's fucking go. Actually, a lot of you guys messaged me about this fight because uh, you saw the Street Fighter video the fan did. Let's see. World Warrior. Japan. <laughs> One fight. You see, he's like, oh, what's, what do you want? What's up? Boom. Fake roundhouse kick to side kick to the face. Push kick. You can. And he's like, and the first drop, boom! Oh, that was a hell. Actually, let me not show you this one because you're gonna know you're gonna know the ending. So let's go to the fight. So that was yeah. The, that's why I love I love the Japan so much because I used to play this game all my life, and uh, fighting live in Japan was insane. The mask, the samurai mask. <laughs> I was looking for. A, I was looking for an entrance for my first ever fight in Japan, so I, I'm like, let's put the samurai. They fucking loved it. <laughs> my first time wearing anything to enter a ring, and my Sifu said, if you, were, if you do a show like this, you better fucking win, <laughs> because then you're gonna look fucking stupid. So yeah, I had to be, I, I really had a lot of pressure. First title defense, and I'm wearing a mask. Okay, so this. Devu Leduk. Listen, I don't understand a word you're saying. They're probably saying sexiest fighter alive, massive deltoids, <laughs> crazy elbows. Our wedding. <laughs> what an experience that that wedding was. Look at the soaked leather wraps, red from Tutu's blood. Ledak. Yeah, Poké was uh, was an interesting fight because I was uh, I knew he, he actually fought Toy Machan, who's you guys know is a is a legend of the sport. Toy was I think 70 kg and Poké was 80, and uh, but Toy was known to uh, he was known to to fuck up guys that was way bigger than him. He fought like a lot of like even taller than me, like six four, and. Uh, Actually, Poké is one of the you know, few guys that actually uh, won the fight against Toy. So I was like, okay, let, let's go. So he was a karate, karate black belt as well. People were in, in Myanmar, it's very rare. Right? Everybody does Letwe. And uh, they're saying, yeah, he's, he's, he's a Letwe fighter, but also he grew up with his father doing uh, karate. So he was actually liked a lot in Japan because he was karate from Japan. Let's just say I was, uh, that was my first title defense actually after fighting Tutumin in December 2016. That was in 2017, February. First title defense ever, Japan. Blue corner, of course, because you're fighting a Burmese. Even if you're the champ. Uh, yeah. We actually fought in the red corner against Tutumin. 
at the end, but still, still Burmese was always in the red. That's why it was important to. That's why, I, like, it was such a moment when I fought in the red corner against a Burmese because it's never been done before. You're always in the blue if you're fighting Burmese. Yeah, sure. Now that I think about it, yeah, it was. Uh, even even then, I was still in the, in the blue. And you see the shorts, actually, I did not have my, sh I forgot my shorts. So I got the blue shorts from a Japanese fighter. And he gave, shout out to you, bro, thank you, thank you. <laughs> he gave me his shorts before the fight, I gave it back after. So the Letoye of Poké. Ye means dance, so it's your Letoye dance before the fight. I thought it was very active, not as intense. You see, my my ye is more like it wasn't just like it was less intricate. But I was like, let's fucking go, like, boom, boom, ah, ah, headbutt, lekamon, lekamon is the slap, the, the traditional gesture. Irina's fucking s scared, stressed, nervous. She's <laughs> she's you can see in her face. The crowd is so calm in Japan compared to Myanmar. Myanmar, they're like, ah. Boom! I was flying this fake right now as a sidekick, and I, it's one of the one I really landed the heel on his face. And he took it like, eh, no problem. That's just, it's mostly to show your dominance, like, bro, I can put my fucking feet on your face. I slapped him, I think, right there. Like, pop! So he slipped that knee. That was a, that was gonna, that was gonna hurt. Nice, he, we got a double jab like this, he jab. You see when he did that? Pop! He's like, ah, what's all we got? I thought, yeah, really? And then I got the elbow, then the hook. And he's been missing. Oh, he avoided the knee twice. Jab. Jab. He's just leaning back, waving, but I'm, I'm gonna get him. Oh, I. And I'm like, man, there's no way. Oh, you can. That's right. That was. Cut the kick. That's the moment. That, man, I felt it right away on elbow, almost tri beginning of the tricep. I was so swollen after that, after that fight. I was walking around Japan with like a fucking ball, ball of water on my elbow. Okay, now there, see, the, they call the two minute timeout. They're, they're massaging him, look at that. Miss the elbow, whoop, miss the elbow. I saw him, he's right away, boom, spin, bang. Right on the face. To drop Poké like this is fucking hard. <laughs> oh, he felt like a dead body. Japanese crowd are like, ooh. They're, you know, massaging, waking up like, you, you're going back up, bro. And actually his corner is one of my friends, the, the, the slim, slim, skinny guy, Tata Patwint. They're, it's like we're all friends. It's just he was cornering his boy. Okay, so he got his two minute timeout. Now, I don't have a, like, I'm just on by myself. He's like, cold water, massaging, pulling the hair, pulling the ears, massage, like, he has another minute to go back. He's like, I'm good, I'm gonna wake up. What the fuck did he get up from this? <laughs> and what's going into your head like this is like, 
bro, I won. Like, this is UFC, MMA, MK1, boxing, Muay Thai. You're, you won, bro. You, you're done. You did your job. You did your training camp. You you won. Go get your paycheck. Now in Lettois, like, oh, I have to do it again? Is it another knockout? Oh, okay. <laughs> like, it's, it's already hard enough to get a KO. Imagine getting twice. You're tired, too. His body is like in defense mode. He's due to the X on my glove, on my uh, wraps. It's pretty cool. Oh, that's a solid knee to the jaw. So I'm like, okay, he's done. No, I'm f I'm fine. Like a fucking Terminator Robocop. Nope. That was a good knee on the jaw. Hook, landed the hook. Oh, missed the elbow again. Oh, he landed again. Jab. I think I did a kick here. I want to land the other, another elbow. Pow! <laughs> he left us for a few seconds, came back right. It's like, oh, he beat the count. Honestly, the fucking strongest guy I ever saw. The heart of... Burmese heart is insane. The 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 drop I dra I grab the lead arm and I drop I drop the lead arm here. I don't really know. Spin right up. Boom. I think that that's the knee. Oh, you see the sweat coming from the knee. It's a good one. Not even two seconds on the floor. That's the kid, that's the drop. Overhand, overhand right. It's typical second round going back in. You know we share we share a moment in the ring like this. We actually saw each other again in Myanmar a year later and uh, we gave each other a big hug and a handshake. It was just all smiles. It was uh, all respect from both sides. Jab, jab, knee. Jab, jab, knee. He wants me, to, so my corner uh, wanted me to do a jab, jab, knee. Because I can, I can reach my knee pretty high, like actually to my, to my chin. So he's like, if I do the jab, Oh, my elbow's swollen. I can tell. I, that's why I looked at it. It's already swollen. I look like I have 20 inch biceps. Okay. Yeah. I never look at my arms. I look, I look at my arm and like, it was already. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Like, usually you're done, right? In, in Muay Thai, you're already done. You can already ice it. Now it's already starting to swell. And you're starting to feel it's harder to move. I look jacked on one side. Push the leg. Try to push the leg to drop the hands. Push, push kick to keep him away because I don't want to get clipped. You can still get clipped. Oh, another good job from him. Ooh. Roundhouse kick. Oh, I tried to jump in me. Fuck, I land that hook and he stayed up. Try to grab it. Yeah, 
He's cut over the eye. Ah, clinch. Oh, I landed the knee. Nice, that was a good clinch. I waited. Yeah, I was pretty much mostly afraid of the hooks. And the headbutts if he goes in close quarter because he's he's shorter. So shorter you guys have the advantage. Oh sh what happened? Another count. What happened? Oh and now oh, it's a big cross. Okay. Okay, while he was disbalanced, I landed a big cross. Another count, so second count. In Latoya, you get four counts in a fight, or three in the same round. So now he's still good. Yeah, it's just a second count, I think. But he had some, he had some many knockdowns. Oh, push kick. Spinning side, my Sifu would be proud from G GKD. Push kick, dropped, big roundhouse, big, big uh, right hand. Big jab. He's, he's a terminator. Oh, spinning elbow. Headbutt, knee. Oh, oh, that's it. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, stay down, bro. You're done. And he's trying, but he fell back. And then they called it. That's it. It was like 11 drop. Wow. How oh, the fuck would he, did he get up so many times? Wow. I was... I was just fucking... I want to respect him. Fake jab, you got a nice jab there, and then the hook, boom! And he got it right away. Headbutt, double headbutt, and then switch the head, uh, knee, left knee, right as he's moving. That was, that was, I was pretty proud of that, that knee. That was clever. Because I was like, that's the flag ceremony. Break the flag. Then, basically, the flag ceremony is like you, you, um, it's you break the usually break the reign, the reign of a, of a previous champion, and you announce your reign. You know that your uh, your reign as a champ. That was that was just in Japan. Nice. Mm -hmm. Big respect for him. <laughs> Giving the trophy by uh, Mr. Mitsui, big businessman in Japan, in Tokyo. Yeah, he owns all the the lottery, the, the casinos. I have been. Dreaming of the of having a big trophy like this, like I've seen in like those K1 days and those uh, back in the day. Look at that! <laughs> and uh, yeah, the, the big trophy was uh, was like, yeah, I'm really in Japan now. That's their style. That's a big ass trophy. Now you have to do your, you have to do your, your Letwaye as a celebratory dance. You do it before the fight and after the fight.
So that brought some memories back. I fought three times in Japan and uh, we had a great time. I got uh, to actually visit the city and go to Mount Fuji. Uh, we're probably going to do another fight uh, when I defended my belt and I won the actual Litway, Litway in Japan belt against a uh, Muay Thai champion. So uh, yeah, it, it was... Uh, it was cool to actually say now I'm an official Street Fighter character. I fought in Tokyo. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, we're uh, we're just getting started, guys. Let's wait, take over the rise of Litway, and uh, it's all possible because of you guys. Thank you for the love and support, and uh, see you next week.